Let's talk about aggression. Many different games reward you for being aggressive towards your enemies with high risk, high reward mechanics. In Bloodborne, for example, the best way to do damage to an enemy is to shoot them while they're attacking you and counterattack while they're staggered. The reward is extremely high, however the gun does very minimal damage and if you mess up the timing, you get hit, which is never something you want to happen in a From Software game. Knowing this mechanic, you probably have one of two reactions. You're either in the camp of, why would I ever go for that if I lose a large amount of my health when attempting it? Or, that's the COOLEST THING EVER, I'm gonna go for it any chance I get. If you're in the second camp, then you're gonna like this video. The high risk, high reward type playstyle has found its way into finding games under the archetype of Unga Bunga, the archetype of Brain Dead, Mashers, Jump in Heavy Sweep, Ken. I'm going to plant my face onto my keyboard and roll my face back and forth. The archetype of Rushdown. Rushdown is focused on that one simple word aggression. Screw all that running away and conditioning crap. We want to run at people and do half of their health because we felt like it. We want to get up in your face and go, hey, guess, 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 Welcome to Fighting Game Appetites for Dummies Episode 3 Rushdown! We built different here! The other archetypes might follow their structures, but here, we like to hit them with something different. Welcome to the mix-up. So, remember in the last video when I said, and don't worry, I'll talk about the other two techniques in later videos. I got you guys. Well, it's time to talk about the big red one. Mix-ups. A mix-up is defined as a situation where blocking is ambiguous as you can't tell which way you're going to be attacked from. The mix-up comes in generally two different forms. The left-to-right mix-up and the high-low mix-up. There are of course more, like command mix-ups, but those generally aren't used by rushdown characters, so I'm not gonna focus on them. Mix-ups are generally character specific and require the character to be in a lot of plus frames. But, like chemistry, that isn't always the case! It's called a 50-50 because both options are equally as difficult to block, normally meaning that you have to guess which way you should be blocking. Maybe a character can only do a 50-50 by having a cyst that locks you down, or you could just be in Sparking Blast and have to spam light and jump when you hit this move- Hey, no way, that's a trade secret, don't show that! 50-50s are one of the biggest things a rushdown character can have, but it's not necessarily all they need. Now, finally, we should get to the main point of the video. Rushdown characters are pretty self-explanatory. They want to close the gap and run you down. Generally, this means that the character has very few or no projectiles, they have normals that move you forward a good amount and give you decent frame advantage, and their special moves are mostly focused on getting you as close to the enemy as possible. Their special moves can be something like a large punch, a teleport, a move that launches you the full size of the screen and leaves you at plus two. Or, my personal favorite, the flip. Flippy Dippy. The Big Flipper. The Flipperoni. Speed. Basically, every move a Rushdown character has revolves around getting in and creating a mix up situation. The ideal situation for a Rushdown character is to get in on the opponent and hit them with something they didn't see coming. Now, I believe it is objectively truthful and not up for debate at all that Rushdown is the hardest archetype to play and people who play Rushdown characters are the epitome of beauty and grace and have massive, just fucking huge brains and are amazing lovers and can do basic addition on the fly if they tried hard enough and are just the best people in the world, you know, like all the best leaders play Rushdown characters. I know I've made it seem like mix-ups are the only thing that Rushdown characters Use, but there are other tools. Some characters rely less on mix ups and go for the simple fuck you, I'm gonna beat your ass mathematically route and just have pure plus frames. This type of rushdown character more punishes your opponent for pressing buttons and attempts to frustrate them into making mistakes. When a player uses a move that's so plus that the enemy can't press any buttons otherwise they'll get hit, it's called a frame trap and it can be extremely deadly if you don't know it's coming. For example, let's look at this move from Bardock. What advantage do you think he gets when he uses it? The answer is plus four. If he spams light, you have to have a move that is just two frames or faster. 
The fastest move in the game is 6 frames and it's the universal jab. So basically you can't press any buttons or you're just fucked. Also yes, before you go into the comment section, I do know that you can counter super or just level 3 or DP, I know, you do still have options, I'm just saying that if you were to literally mash you would get hit, okay cheers, thanks, bye. The point is, the rushdown character can sort of be seen on a scale from using hard mix-ups to deal with their opponents, and just having so much frame advantage that the opponent doesn't get to breathe. Let's go for a few examples of rushdown characters, shall we? We have Balrog and Kami from Street Fighter, Lauren Kunimitsu from Tekken, Soul Bad Guy from Guilty Gear, Saber Wolf from Killer Instinct, and, of course, Trunks. The best one. I'm not biased. This is the point where I do the predictable play and transition. Hey, could someone tell us to be guilty again? Rushdown is an extremely fun archetype of characters that revolves around getting it into your opponent's personal bubble and dealing as much damage to them as possible. Just realising that I didn't talk about their weaknesses, that's because they don't have any! Apart from being very squishy and not always having good wake-up options, BUT APART FROM THAT, THEY'RE UNSTOPPABLE! Though they may have some technical skill alongside them, making some of them extremely hard to play, Rushdown characters are, in my opinion, the most fun archetype of fighting games. You get to do big combos for big damage and force your opponent to constantly guess what your next move is gonna be. Can they be easy? Oh, of course they can, but are they fun? Yes! If you're like me and you have less brain cells than your sub count, you should consider picking up a Rushdown character. And that just about wraps up the video. I managed to get through this entire thing without doing a montage. Huh. That's pretty good. But I mean, Wait, what's it? No, come on, please. No, don't do this. No, come on, they've sapped. Don't make- No! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Ain't nothing like a moment! Wow.